In this video, I'll show you how to make the crochet clusters bracelet. For this project, you will need a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a size 4 medium weight yarn. To get started, I'm going to take my yarn and make a little slip knot to put it on my hook. Now I'm going to chain 4. Next, I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the fourth chain from my hook and draw up a loop. Then I'm going to yarn over and draw through two loops. I'm going to repeat that two more times to yarn over, insert my hook and draw up a loop and yarn over, draw through two. Then once again, I'll yarn over, insert my hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two loops. Then I will have four loops on my hook and I'm going to yarn over and draw through all four loops. And that is my first completed cluster. Now let's make another cluster. So we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to yarn over and insert our hook once again in the fourth chain from the hook and draw up a loop and then we will yarn over and draw through two loops on our hook. Then once again, we'll yarn over, insert our hook into that fourth chain from the hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through two. And we'll repeat that one last time, yarn over, insert our hook into that same chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops. Now we have four chains on our hook. So we're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops on our hook. And now we have two clusters. Let's do one more together. Chain four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that fourth chain from the hook and draw up a loop and then we'll yarn over and draw through two loops. Two more times, yarn over, insert our hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. Last time, yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop yarn over and draw through two loops. Now yarn over and draw through all four of the loops on your hook. And now we have three clusters and you can keep on going until you have the number that you want on your bracelet to fit your wrist. For my bracelet, I put nine clusters on my bracelet and it is just the right size for me to slip it on and off of my wrist perfectly. So you'll wanna find the size that works for you and you can kind of wrap it around your wrist to measure as you go to just give it a little check and see how many you want. So just keep on going until you get to the number of clusters that feels comfortable on your wrist. So I am just completing my ninth cluster and I'm just going to 
pull out my loop a little bit to wrap this around my wrist and see how it fits. And it feels just fine, loose enough that I'll be able to pull my hand in and out of it if I want to. So now I'm going to go ahead and curl my bracelet around so that it's not twisted and insert my hook into the very, very, very first starting chain and do a little slip stitch just to close up my bracelet. Now I'm just gonna cut my yarn and then with these two ends, I'm going to tie them into a square knot. So a little right over left and then left over right. And here you can either weave in your ends into the bottoms of those double crochet clusters, or you can just cut your yarn, but um, they'll be a little more secure, I think, if you weave them in. So I'm going to grab my crochet hook and just run them through the bottom of those double crochets to kind of secure the ends in there. And then I will cut my ends and my bracelet is all finished. Now you can make this in so many pretty and cute colors to match outfits or to give to your friends. I think they look really cute when you wear multiple colors together like this blue one and I have a yellow one that I made earlier. Let's see what that looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a comment to let me know how your bracelets turned out and I will see you in my next video. Bye!